Hey everyone, it's Quantum. I'm a student here at TRCOA and I'm going to show you guys how to convert audio into MIDI in under five minutes. Here we go. So here we have two loops. We have a guitar loop and we have a drum loop. And so what we're going to do is actually convert the audio from both the guitar loop and the drum loop into MIDI. And the reason you want to do that is because it's, it saves you a lot of time and it, it's more productive. Um, instead of you having to go in and figure out what they played or what specific notes and the cadences um, or even with the drums, I mean, you know that this is a kick and a snare and a hi-hat, so why take the time to figure out every specific um, like pattern if the computer can do that for you? Um, so what we're gonna do is actually, we'll start with the guitar. We're just gonna right click and then do convert harmony to new MIDI track right down here. You can do melody, but since this is a little bit more notes and it sounds like more of a chord, um, harmony would work best. Okay, and it gave us this right here. Now let's listen to what we got. Turn down the volume a little bit. So we can see that it gave us some notes that weren't really there, but that's fine. Um, and it repeated some notes, but for the most part, it was very right on with which notes are, are playing and, and kind of the rhythm. Um, you can quantize from there and, and just pick specific notes that you want, but the cool thing is now that you can chop it up and make it your own. Um, you don't have to depend on the actual audio stem. You now have MIDI. Um, and same for the drums. So for the drums, we're gonna right click and we're gonna do convert drums to new MIDI track. And there we go. So now we have the drums into an actual MIDI track. Let's hear that. And that's kind of a more digital drum and the loop was a little bit more acoustic. So let's, let's do the session. There we go. Session dry kit and then. There you go, that's a little bit more how the loop was. Let's listen. Yeah, it's pretty straight on. Um, and again, from there, you can pick your own samples, put in your own kick, your own snare, chop it up, change the pattern, but now you have control over that. And so that's the great thing. And it saved you a lot of time. So anyways, I hope y'all put this to good use. Um, it'll definitely save you a lot of time and make you a little bit more productive in the production process. Thank you and I'll catch you on the flip side.